Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to a very special weekly race. For it is today, today at last we have released version 3.0 of DK64 Randomizer. Loads of new features have arrived on the main site at last. Extensive testing. Today is the day we have arrived to release them all out into the world. And we celebrate today with our weekly race. Good to have you here. I am Lorak. I will be on the mic for you today. Joining me is Nintendo Zara. How are you doing? I am super, super excited for 3.0. How are you doing? I'm also super, super excited for 3.0. I'm doing great. Things have uh, gone well. We got our uh, we sign up to date. Let me uh, cut some things yep. around as everybody is just about ready. Today on the stream, we I got... believe we are starting. Okay. Oh wow, we are actually going. Okay. We're actually going. Yeah. Right. Umed. Okay, have everything ready. Umed, I'm gonna have a talk. I'm gonna have a talk with you later, bud. But we are flying. We've got two dose, and we've got Kuiper. Don't care. Two uh, very fast players. Don't mind the brief delay. We're getting things off to the races. In the classic prison start today, we are still running a setting. That is a functionally our season two setting. Not no significant changes have been made to item placement, item locations, and whatnot. The one big change is going to come in our hints, and we'll hopefully be seeing them right soon as we uh, come up on our level two. What do we got? Just kidding. Two does roll somewhere else. Thank you. Very cool. He's gonna check the dirt. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you. That you get. You deserve that. Excellent. <laughs> As he falls. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Both climbing the tree. High five on the tree. Right. Yeah, as we see the new hints, uh, you would be the perfect person to tell us all about the new hints. We got an early vines right off that dirt, and that's pretty blessed. Mm, smells like an early Aztec angle. Oh, and yeah. a, little, a little green vial in Jape's Lobby. Take like that. A little pineapple action. And it is indeed Aztec. So let's, let's talk hints. What do we got? Hell's Jape's Lobby entrance item. So that's pineapple. Way of the horde. Sure. Okay. Great. Love that. Kuiper choosing to go back to the training grounds immediately with his vines. Check the, with the vines. vines and dirt. Makes a lot of sense. Right here. Something in the testing area is on the path to key four. There's a key four in. Okay. There's that. a key four, yeah. Oh, wow. Punches in the back of the training grounds. That's actually really nice. Ooh. That does load That's up cool. our Isles main. Any hint for Isles main is going to be pretty rough. All right, here's our big big reveal. Galleon Caverns on the path to key seven, key eight, and Diddy K rule. Your path hints now tell you everything the item is on the path to. So something pretty important is in the Galleon Caverns. That can be peanut on the path with some keys. That can be rocket on the path with some keys. And we got Jape's tiny, ti Jape's tiny time cage banana on the way Keep that in mind. Probably seeing Jape soon enough. So that Galleon Caverns item, that one item in Galleon Caverns, a single item, will get you to Key 7, Key 8, and Diddy Kill. So, that's pretty useful. We got Aztec. Yeah, and on nothing else. Aztec that's what's one, really good. Oh. Force 2. You can be found by chunking Aztec. Uh, what was that? Ooh, very what was that region? Caves Metal Rewards. Five, seven, eight, and all three cards wow. in K rule. That is a very <laughs> important item. Thing. There you go. Check your caves metal <laughs> rewards. All right, we got some big paths. Tiny temple, key five, key seven, <laughs> key eight. Tiny K rule, wow. chunky K rule, Diddy K rule. Wow. All right, we are getting there real soon, huh? <laughs> we are getting some spicy multi path already. Oh boy, multi path power right here. <laughs> no joke. Something real good is in those two locations. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but not in the Oasis or Totemarian Aztec. We're not we're not doing anything there apparently. Hmm. Interesting. And the mills have our key two. That is very likely just key two being directly hinted, so. Wow, that is a We got a barn burner already. So it seems like okay, here's my guess, is that Caves is gonna be level three and it's gonna have guitar. And then okay. Guitar will take you to the back of Aztec for like maybe like diving in Tiny Temple, and then diving is needed for a whole pile of stuff. Could be something needed for something in the caverns. It could be like uh, 
something in like the, the pineapple room, right? We know pineapple's way of the horde. And if it's in the caverns it's way of the and in the pineapple room, then that would, we already know something in the caverns is on the path to key 7, 8, and Diddy Key rule. So that right there knocks off like three of your path requirements instantly. It could just be there. Yeah, it could, could be. That is okay. my that is my four minute cook on this seed. So we'll see how one that one's that one's like in a crock pot. That one's slow cooking. We'll we'll come back to that one yeah. in like an hour. We'll come back to that one in a little bit. Yeah. We have some more information. Maybe not a little bit. Might be a lot of bit, but we'll see what we'll see what Forrest is gonna turn up for Kuiper. He's not off to the mills. Maybe he finds his key two over here. They could have gone to Aztec or Forest here. Both are very cheap B lockers. I kind of like the Forest play because this is where your key two is. Key two will get you more hints. But I could see, I could, you could make the case for Aztec. You're gonna have to run into Aztec at some point. You got vines. It's in logic. Something could be a candies. I guess the coins aren't really inspiring. There's like two coins for DK and four for Chunky. So, oh boy. Playing a guitar. We got Sprint in the middle. Hopefully that's not it, because we don't have Lanky at all. <laughs> But like, what else could it be? There's not a lot of other stuff in the mills. I guess you have Strong Kong, so the Thornbine Barn. You have Strong Kong and Vine, so the Thornbine Barn is like pretty likely to have your, your goods here. That's very likely key to it. Yeah. And with Pineapple, you actually have the way to turn it night. So that's very good. True. What about night? Night matters. Fun new setting yeah. 3. <laughs> Fun new setting no, 3.0. No. You can just ignore night and make it night and day simultaneously. Lots of fun. Very good, yes. But in regular season, we haven't changed anything yet. Oh, we're still doing the regular um, settings, except for the hints, of course. Right, we're keeping, we're coming... keeping things as close to 2.0 as possible. This is, what, this is what we know. This is what we know and love. Season 3 will come in time, no doubt. Yes. All, uh, all 34 people in this race, the largest donk race we have ever had. Wow. There's a lot of people. Two Dose Juice is going to Aztec. Um, I can dig it. There's some easy stuff here. There's enough yeah. chunky coins that if you find something in the shop, you're like, odds are decent of getting it. But not having anything on that dirt kind of hurts, because, well, well, one problem is that the Oasis is foolish, so you're not going to find anything here. Best you're going to find is something in the shop, and there is nothing. Oh, no. Yep, nothing. Just bananas. <laughs> Yep. You can get Chunky's Metal, actually, with Pineapple, and that would explain a Pineapple Way of the Horde. That would be enough. That would be. We shall see, however. We know the Oasis is foolish, though. Ain't nothing on the Llama. Womp womp. Yeah, so somebody asked, uh, practically free level 2 with one banana because you have the Aztec here as your level 1 with no Diddy and guitar, so you can't get to the back, so there isn't very much GBs you can get here. Italy squad. So that's... <laughs> yeah. That's why it's one for level 2. But maybe this pineapple turns up something. Can we see something on the chunky metal that'll make this play a lot better? Check the boss, that'd be crazy. Wow, alright. Random you can get the boss. Random gorilla gone, that's pretty good. Oh, and gone? Okay. We need that we need that <laughs> for sure. Um that's we not do. A, that's not a difficult metal to get, and it doesn't really help you in the short term. I guess if caves turns out it's pretty good. And we know caves is on the way. But yeah. it's not like massive. Now this boss. I think this boss is not gonna be checked by a lot of people, so if something's on this boss, that's gonna be a spicy pull. Yeah, Toodles, really, and that gone pull, too. And if you guys saw, too, one of the other great features of 3.0 was you have a visual indicator as well as um, the audible doink when you get enough bananas for the boss. We'll so it. very, very nice if you have a stream muted or something, you or, or you have volume down. You can see it as well as hear it when you get enough bananas. Well, nothing on this boss, though. Is it... Is no. it Trop's head or Scoff's head? I think it's Scoff's head, right? Because Scoff is like the, the feeding verb, so like that makes sense that the guy who eats a bunch of stuff is named <laughs> yeah. Scoff, right? Think, that, that think so. Oh, and blast off the chunky metal in forest! Like Kuiper just pulled, wow. Yep. You're going right back down, you're checking that blast course for sure! <laughs> yep. <laughs> a lot of moves early, and GBs are just kind of... Mm -hmm. they're, they're here, I guess. Yeah. I right, saw a doink on Kuiper's screen, so you probably can also look at this. Actually, no, well, okay, Kuiper is a notorious boss hater, so he might not check this boss. 
We'll see what he chooses to do. Well-known boss skipper. And maybe that's a play that Tudos is making. This is a runback of multiple races that happened live at AGDQ. And, uh, we'll see, uh... This may be a, it may be a 1v1 meta decision to check bosses by Tudos to try it, and edge out Kuiper here. It'd be very Tudos funny. Tudos is absolutely metagaming what Kuiper is doing. He, <laughs> Tudos knows what Kuiper is doing. Watching this race live was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and they did multiple. But this last one, where um, neither finished <laughs> and Etiquette won, and they were just going at each other. It was a very interesting <laughs> race. <laughs> John, all right, well... <laughs> Only one of them can finish first here, so we'll see who pulls this one out and gets to take home bragging rights for the next, I don't know, week? Races happen weekly. Yeah. Maybe we'll just, maybe they'll just go at it again until, until the end of time. Yes. Yeah. And now with new, uh, we did reset the ELO in race time, so everyone is chomping away to get that first place. Are you kidding me? I missed out on free low from... The, yep. Oh no, is that another blue vial in the mills? Oh my god. Oh no, it is another blue vial in the mills! Oh no. That is a blue vial in the levers. Oh dear. We need grab for that, and that's it, I think. Yeah, just grab. Yeah, yeah because we have slam, of course. But where's Key 2? Key 2 better turn up in Thornvine Barn, because if it's not there, we might get a real weird Key 2. That's 74 on that drop stuff. It's a little expensive, but like the metal's just kind of have you covered, or the, the CB's just kind of worked out to have you covered. Ooh, we got something on the, uh, the arena. Ooh. Uh, a yellow vial, wow, we are loading up, on, loading up on DK moves. Actually, we're just loading up on moves. <laughs> we got a lot of moves already, for being 10 minutes in. Bongos, sure. I'll take some bongos. Tudo's running right towards key 2 and Kuiper is checking where his key two hint is. He's like, wait a minute, where's my key? <laughs> you have yep. one more, you have one or two more things in logic. It would be the Kasplat back here, the two does are to, and the Thorndrine by itself. Yep. Oh, well, I guess the Kasplat makes there a little it is. more sense. <laughs> you know what, keep it simple, right? Yeah. Yep. Easy, easy one in the mills on the Kasplat. There you go, but... Strong Kong, let's see what's in the Thorndine Barn. Yeah, still good to check it. <laughs> yeah. It's great to look at your if you're not sure where you need to go or you need to relook at your hints, having it on the pause menu here is so yeah, helpful. I forgot briefly distracted by something, he'll be back in a jiffy. Yeah. And sure enough, we have a level 3 factory. Very funny game. Alright, here we go. <laughs> okay. Because of hints. Well, some hints. We don't exactly have easy access, we only have access to these three hints. That's right. We are no longer. We are no longer allowing a clip up to the top, but here we are. Factory Metal Awards on the path to everything. Alright, cool. Wow, we can really roll them, huh? <laughs> There's something else well, that's very important there. Show up the multi path. Here but, we go. But I mean, looking at all these path hints, they're just all like in a straight line. So, like, it's basically telling you, hey, just follow all your stuff in a straight line, right? Go to the Factory Metal Awards. Alright, whatever you get there, take it to the Caves Metal Awards. Okay, whatever you get there, take it to Tiny Temple. Great, perfect. Ooh, new type of hint there. So the Forest Metal Rewards have one potion, and that one potion was Blast that Kuiper found, and Tudos did not. So, otherwise, our Forest Metal Rewards are dead, which is good news. Forest Metals are kind of bad. They are. <laughs> they are, and it was on Chunkies, which was easier. Um, one of the easiest metals. And we're finding but yeah, the Lanky with Tiny scouring ones. Finding Lanky with Tiny Niles is interesting. That it does include BFI, so we gotta be a little mindful of a, a fairy's uh -oh. angle. Hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> We're yeah. getting a fairy's? 
We shall see. We kind of needed Tiny to show up first, and we haven't seen the Feather Cage, so it could be in the Feather Cage. It could be Upper Isles on the Sax Pad with Monkey Port, but we would need two more Tiny moves for that, so that doesn't seem super likely. Right. We need Mini Monkey for BFI. I think the most likely scenario is that it's on the Feather Cage, but nobody has checked it, so we will have to, we'll have to see when that happens. Right. Uh, Kyber just Not bails with that before. Heat, though, they might go to check it. Kyber bails instantly before even checking the Thornbound Barn. I mean, it's, it's you know, oh no, he did the Thornbound Barn first. So, like, oh yeah, he did it first, yeah. He did. Whoops. Right, but we need, we need Metals in Factory. That is, this is our first, like, major item. So something very good is here. What's really interesting is that we don't have a, a Diddy hit. Diddy appears to be our first con we're supposed to get, but we don't have any yet. So that tells me is that we have to follow our key four hint to testing to go pick up key four, and then lobby five will tell us what where our Diddy Kong is. Well, this isn't testing, this is storage. What's this blue vial? Balloon. Maybe that's needed for storage. Wild. Balloon! We could use that for storage. Yeah, there we go. Well, we need Lanky, so actually probably not. Yeah. <laughs> well, logically, you need Lanky, so that's probably not it. I think the most likely case is just the Splat or the, the number game, the counting. Everyone's favorite count to 16. Yes. It'll be a test for chat if you guys can count to 16. We do that check. Yeah, as, as people are pointing out, uh, we no longer allow that chunky backflip clip because it's a clip and this is glitchless. So yeah, no more chunky backflips up there. You have to do, uh, or clip through the floor, you have to do the backflip with either Diddy or Tiny so you're not actually going through the floor. Things are, uh, things are kept glitchless for uh, hopefully uh, anyone who's watched the, uh, the GDQ run. Connor did. Then Ellie, you'll know why there's no glitches in this run because glitches would uh, uh, slightly to severely obliterate this game. <laughs> yeah. There are glitch logic settings. There are exciting times, and Tudos just hammers, hammer, smash buys an ammo belt. Whoops. Oops. I can just hear him. Don't care. Give it to me. <laughs> He's a potion, and he just grabs it. If only it were so easy to be diving or. Or, uh, or barrels or something of the sort. No such luck. No takers on the blast course, really. Nobody's gonna check that? Yeah, that's... Well, Tudor doesn't have blast, so only Kuiper does. Oh, no, true. He did not bite on it. He is leaving immediately. Does he want to... I'm in production. What is he looking for? Maybe the... Oh, he started the chunky production timer, and then... Left yeah, it was switch, just a banana. And then it's coming back? Dang, that's crazy. Huh. Yeah, okay. He's routing his wild. What I, I think he, what he might do here is he might leave, go check testing, and then drop down for the remainder of the storage checks. I kind of dig it. Yeah. Homing! Because your routing in factory tends to lead you up to R&D, and then you drop down on the power hut, so like, you may as well... Oh right. my, that's a key. Oh, red alert! There we is a key here. <laughs> we got a key in storage. Interesting. Wow. But um, let me let me finish my thought really fast. So your routing in factory tends to take you up to R and D, and then you drop down onto the power hut, which puts you in storage. So you can really play pretty aggressively, skip your storage stuff, and then just like put that at the end of your factory run instead. So I think that's what Kuiper did. He started. What I, what I expect to see him do here is finish up, check this display at the top of production, and then just pause, exit out to go do testing stuff, and he'll come back to his storage checks later. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Still All right, there's our key four, so that's that's good. Crisis averted there. I want to know what key that is in the mini room because that's either key five or key seven, and we have three hints for each of them, and we have four hints for key seven. That's probably key five, which means mini monkey is somewhere at the end of this massive chain of garbage. Um, it could be minis in tiny temple. It could be minis in the the factory metal rewards. It could be wow. Well, Maybe in the Factory Metal Wars. I'm not sure on that one. It could be well, in the Cave's Metal Wars. We, we just got diving on it. Oh, wait, diving... On the Factory Metal Rewards on Donkeys. Donkeys a Metal has diving. Ooh, okay. Diving. 
That could be one of the path to everything ones. <laughs> That's pretty likely our path to everything. Diving is a very important move that locks a whole pile of goodies. Okay, Kuiper did come back to storage, so I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Um, <laughs> it's Kuiper, we don't know what he does. I don't know. Maybe he just like changes mind. I, I I'm also guilty of randomly changing my mind mid routing, so who knows? He's just, like he did a double take on that, like, wait a minute, that's a key. <laughs> Hang on, I need that. <laughs> very interesting. That is one of our, our two mystery keys behind a whole pile of stuff. Diving is going to get us to key 5, 7, and 8 somehow. It could be as simple as like a diving minigame in Helm. What I think is that it's going to be something in Tiny Temple. So my guess is that you find like grape in caves and then Tiny Temple on like the Vulture has something. Because that would take diving, that would take grape out of another hinted area, and then your money item, which is probably Mini Monkey, is going to be on Tiny Temple. However, if it were Grape and the Vulture, that would still be a five because then you'd have Lanky Locking Tiny and Tiny Locking Lanky. So, that would not Oh, true. <laughs> if we want to live in the we BFI need... world, we need to find Diddy sooner rather than later and then maybe make it like Peanuts or something. Yeah. Yeah, because it's also on the path to Diddy K rule, so could be Peanuts. Could be. We'd also need to find Rocket Barrel somewhere down that mess, though, as well. So yeah, Peanuts does make a lot of sense, wait a minute. There's two items in DDK roll, right? There's peanuts and rocket barrel, so. Yeah. So yeah, What's... it could, could be. And plus all the chunky moves that we need as well on this path. So, because it's what? also past a chunky K roll. Well, that random Gorilla Gun is, we know is not related at all, right? We found that Gorilla Gun in the Aztec Metal Rewards, which is so far unhinted. So the Gorilla right. Gun is going to be kind of an independent hint. So a little bit isolated. You may have to uh, randomly find that. The usual micro hints still apply. You'll still get a hint on the uh, the monkey port pad and the the uh, gorilla gun pad if you have enough GBs. But it's not too bad to be missing gorilla gun at the end. But you gotta, you gotta do some thunk on that. You gotta do some thinking. When Tudos bails out of factory before finding diving, that's gonna. Oh, he doesn't have Blast, so he couldn't easily get Donkey's Metal. I'm not actually sure it's in logic for him. I think he needs Blast or Coconut. I, yeah. Am I making yeah, that up? I think up? he does. I hope I'm not making that up. No, I think you're right. I think you're right. It, you need another move. I don't know. Look, uh, if I have that up, let me see. Oh, I don't know if I have the website. Yeah, we got spreadsheets for days on these. <laughs> yeah. We have that <laughs> nice calculator. You just type in what you need. <laughs> There's a staggering amount of information required to... to to run this game really, really fast, and these guys know a lot, so power to them. What's in our level 5 Galleon? Ooh, caverns have something good here, but we're probably not going to be able to get in here. 14 is not too expensive. He was only at 9 right now. What do we got for hints? Ooh, alright, that's going to turn you around real quick. We know where Diddy is. Diddy is in caves. Wait. Okay. Some math here. How's dirt under Cave's lobby? That is vines. We obviously know that. Vines, no yep. surprises there. Okay, so Tiny is our first Kong. Tiny's gotten by Aztec with Chunky. Okay, I think I, I misread some hints. Alright, cool. All good. Um, I've got Temple. Do key 8 and DDK roll. So something good is in the 5 door temple. I'll recap our hints in a second. I, oh, oh, lord. E5, E7, E8, Tiny K rule. Yep, yep, everything, everything, everything. Yep, yep, yep. Everything? Yep, 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 yep. yep, yep. <laughs> All this the rest. This is probably Vines, if I were to guess. Yeah. It could be Punch, but I think Vines is the most likely thing. Because Vines will get you... If Vines locked Rocket Barrel, it would be on the path of the back of Aztec. Oh, it's actually just two things. This is the same hint. <laughs> <laughs> so it's both. Okay. Right. These hints are kind of... <laughs> wow, they're all over the place. Wow. Is this one Punch, then? It must be, right? Oh, or is it Pineapple? Because huh. it's also on Pineapple. This one's Pine or Punch. I'm pretty sure one of these is Vines, and then the other one is either Pineapple yeah. or Punch. Yeah, I think one is Vines and one is one of these moves, so... All right, Tudus is headed back to Factory. He's about to get it if he, if he clears his metals pretty well, he'll get his Blast here. And we discovered the level 4 is Caves, which makes a lot of sense. 
So yeah, it has to be with Diddy. Diddy is Diddy is in an arena with caves, which is just a okay. That is a, a key that just got hinted away the horde. All right, Kuiper is not reading his hints now. He's gonna look at him later. Cool. Yeah, he's doing the menu thing. Okay. Yep. He's eight bullets left. Gotta be careful rashing it out when you're blasting because bullets like that. Oh, there, buddy. Um. So we have. Tiny got by Chunky and Aztec. There's not a lot of Chunky checks. I think it's Barrel's Lock. Ooh, a treasure chest clam. Oh, treasure chest. Yep. They can't even be the last one. Okay. Ooh, four GBs to get into to caves. This is interesting. Kyber's going in. So... That's so low! That is a very low level four, which kind of makes sense. It looks like our Kongs are in kind of a horrible location. Um... So we have, we have Diddy is accessible. Diddy is locked by an arena in caves, which is just Bongo's locked, and we got Bongo's. We pulled Bongo's out of where was that? That's up the mushroom because that's the mushroom crown. So Tudos is on his way to get that. Um, but interesting, caves is level four. You're guaranteed three Kongs by level three and four Kongs by level four. So Diddy is probably your fourth Kong. Your third Kong is accessible, which has to be Tiny acquired by Chunky in Aztec. Which is like one of two checks. It's either the metal, like it could be the boss. It's either the metal, the boss, yeah. or the or vases, or it could be the claptrap room. So there's actually quite a few options. But we can't do the. Yeah. We've seen the metal and the boss, so it's not those two. We need triangle yeah, for the claptrap room, and we need barrels for vases. So tiny is locked by one more move, and we know barrels is in the first three levels. So it's possible that both of them just missed barrels somewhere on their clears. Or they have to take a, a move back to an earlier level. Maybe they have to go take, uh, uh, maybe Bongo's, maybe the rotating cabin has, oh, no, 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 it has to be, we checked the force no, blast. No, maybe it's the factory blast, because they didn't check that. Oh, nobody checked the factory blast? I thought Kuiper did. Did he check it? Maybe he did. Hmm. I think going so fast. Interesting. <laughs> it's hard to remember everything, but... Something good is floating around here that we don't have access to. Yeah, Kuiper did. It was just a GP. Okay, cool. Thank you, team. Thank you. Interesting. Where is our barrels? There's not a lot of options for it. There isn't. Hmm. Maybe it's in face shooting? Did Kuiper do face shooting? No, oh, I don't think so. I might not have done that. There's blast for two dose. He may think, he may realize that. Oh snap! That gets me my factory donkey medal. Although that's a pretty hard connection to make, so we'll see. We'll see. Uh, it is. Kyber did do face shooting. That's right. I do remember him saying that. Wow, we got quite the puzzle here. Have we seen everything in forest? I want to see what we have. Have we seen everything? Yeah, in he did. That should be everything. Uh, did he check the boss though? Oh wow. Boss in forest could be barrels? That would be crazy. Could be. That would be insane. And given that we've seen almost all the hints, Piper read those hints so fast we have no idea what some of these cave hints were. <laughs> I don't think he even looked at them. We saw the force boss? Did, did, did he actually look at the did Piper actually look at a boss? It's crazy. Factory boss? Nobody definitely nobody looked at factory boss. Nobody looked at factory boss, yeah. Oh boy. Interesting. How do we this is a, a real mystery we got going for Tiny Kong. Where are you? I'm kind of surprised Kuiper didn't uh, smell out that there's something good in uh, in Aztec, right? Chunky with Chunky and Aztec Wait. is so few spots. I I would think it's like reasonably likely that in the two spots that are available, it's probably there. Like with pineapple, you just go scoop up the metal and like probably get tiny, but then it's not there. In your... Oop. Not ideal. Yeah. But when you're in doubt, just don't worry about it. Just keep clearing. That's what Kuiper's doing. He's just gonna yeah. he's just gonna keep clearing. As long as you're just doing stuff, picking stuff up, you kinda keep pace. You can kinda sorta like puzzle out your last location or your missing piece a little bit later. Given that you still need 60 GBs to get into helm at the end of the day, if you're just doing stuff, you're making progress, you're going fast. You're you're doing well, especially with how stingy the GBs have been so far. So getting more is very helpful. Speaking of stingy, Hyper may just uh, decide that Kasplat just <laughs> deserves to live. He's a real, real party pooper. That guy. Give him a little. Yes. Give him a little bonk. Oh, speaking of bonks, oh, Tudo's taking a swim. 
<laughs> Everyone gets their one. <laughs> yeah, we, we all get knocked off the mushroom from time to time. Womp womp. You gotta do the warp of shame. And back up you go. <gasps> At least you got the warp. <laughs> Some nice synchronized yeeting. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> good form. The splats are definitely up a little bit right now. Right. So where does <laughs> he just take his newfound glory? He's headed to factory. He has smelled out a metal. Yeah. He knows those metals are hinted, so I feel like he's gotta get this blast course. It's kind of crazy. Blast to, yeah. Oh yeah. With only two Kongs, I mean, there's only two medals to check, so... Yeah, surely. Surely it's one of these two. Hey, the pad's right there. Turn around. There you go. One, two, no. There we go. What are you doing? We got him, we got him. <laughs> we rescued him. Okay. Well done, team. Okay. <laughs> he came back, he came back. Good. And there's his diving, so... He's probably not feeling great about that diving, but... That is okay. Ooh, there's a boss dink. He can check the boss real fast. Love to see that. He might be just like picking up as many GPs as he can to get the uh to get the level four access, not knowing that level four is disgustingly cheap. I mean he's seen level five, and level five is 14, so he's odds are already pretty good in you know level four. Yeah, good enough for him. He's off the races. Let's go get tiny or let's go get Diddy. Right. Diddy's here, yep, okay, but we'll pull Diddy. Finally get a third Kong. After 30 minutes. Yes, Revan, I want to see a boss check. Early boss checks are great. Alright, we're actually gonna read the hints because Kyber just blitzed through these and didn't look at all. You got a Japes Kasplatway the Horde. Oh, okay. Okay, so we need to find Japes. Level six or seven. Not pretty, but the factory tiny mini by arcade, that is a key. Yep. Let me know this. Yep, yeah, uh, five or seven. <laughs> I read that I read that one in the like three milliseconds I had to read. Kuiper has acquired Diddy from our thing. Oh wait, here we go. Japes shops are foolish. And okay. that's it. And the far left one. So this all makes sense because if we think Mini Monkey is one of our Giga hinted items, right? We know Mini Monkey gets you to key five, so it kind of has to be one of our on the Giga path. The treasure chest is a logical next step, right? Something else very good will be in there. That could be key seven. Or that could be the other key, rather. One is key five, the other is key seven. That right. Makes that makes perfect sense to me. Yeah, and then, and then Minnie's on the path to both. And then, and, the cavern, and then the caverns could have something like, I don't know, like coconut or something that would also be on the path to the treasure room. Four bananas for level four. Now that is a very, very cheap level four. Oh, no. I mean, it kind of makes sense. I mean, look at the coins they have. Like, this is absolutely, they got absolutely nothing going on here. I know. This is rough. We're starving out here. Where are the Kongs at? We got Diddy, but Diddy is our logical fourth Kong. Who's our logical third Kong? Yeah, it depends, I guess, where where it is here. And where barrels are. Or whatever we need. To get uh, out of Az the Chunky Chicken Aztec. Yeah, we know we know Tiny is the third Kong. It's got to be on a Chunky Chicken Aztec. Oh so. yeah, Tiny does free Lanky. Yep. And Tiny because Tiny frees Lanky, which still could be in BFI. That's in play. Um, it could be. <laughs> depending on where Feather turn or depending on where Mini turns up on these paths, I think it's still in play. Which would be hilarious, but Great. I don't think it's likely for what it's worth. We can hope. We can hope. <laughs> we can dream. Oh, something else, actually. All these tiny care rule paths have to be pointing to Mini because we started with Feather. So, so actually, yeah, Mini Monkey is basically confirmed to be on the Giga Path. That is what I've called it now. Yeah, I think so, with both keys, um, or at Everything. least the one for sure being locked by Mini. Every, 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 and every path endpoint is on this path. Every single one of them. Key 5, Key 7, Key 8, Tiny Key Roll, Diddy Key Roll, Chunky Key Roll. It's crazy. Monster hints. But that's... We know our K. Rule 
three K rule Kongs though. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Monster that information out of these monster hints. So uh, can't be sleeping on these multi pads. You know so much just from these hints. It's crazy. Yeah, definitely no unhinted uh, K rule in this seed. All right, we're getting our no. underwater, underwater tiny temple check here. Is this where we find something good? I'm guessing it's on the vulture, but it could be. Oh my god! Whoa! This is a chunky check. It's a Kong in a cage! We have a Kong in a cage! <laughs> Let's go! What is going on? <laughs> oh, we got a... Whoa! This is rare. <laughs> no it wonder was... we got punched early. Let's it was... go! It wasn't adding up in my head. It just wasn't adding up in my head. What chunky check? Did we miss a check somewhere? It's just simply Tiny Kong in Tiny's cage! In Tiny's cage? That's crazy! <laughs> freed, by... freed by Chunky! That's unbelievable. That is. This is so Didn't rare. Even, yeah. It's so rare, it never crossed my mind. That's crazy. Right. This and I forget that this can be Diddy or Chunky. Indeed, you can open this cage vanilla with Diddy, with Diddy, with Charge, or with Chunky, with Punch. Yep. This is crazy rare. I cannot emphasize how crazy rare this is. Like, this is a one per yeah, one percenter? Sub one percenter? It's Insane. less than one percent, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and there's barrels. Unbelievable. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> so that is probably and barrels. <laughs> that is probably Perfect. your thing on the path to key five and everything. So does yep. barrels and diving get you to a cave's metal? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Maybe like punch? Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. Uh -huh. There's the calculator. Someone someone check the calculator for us. <laughs> oh boy. Kuiper also finds Gorilla Gone, so he's he's a happy camper. He just found a crazy pile of goodies. Where does he take all this stuff? He's thinking, oh let's go let's go check slides. I don't like this I like this check. You kinda gotta follow barrels, right? You've you've acquired barrels through the Gigapath, right? Diving led you to barrels. Um yes. punch led you to barrels. Uh yep. Did, probably did. did vines lead you to Sorry. barrels? I don't. Oh no, it's pineapple and punch. It's not vines. It's actually pineapple punch. Oh. Is it pineapple and okay? It's not vines. Yeah. Vines, is, vines is not one of our two main aisles hints. Right. Tiny check at the back of the the feather cage in aisles is not lanky. So we are. Uh, oh, spicy to get BFI. We are. Better chance. We are approaching <laughs> BFI territory. We now either need more moves. Or it's in BFI. Well, we still need moves. We definitely need more moves. We either need Mini to check oh, we BFI. We need Mini to get there. Mini to check BFI. Charge for the Aztec Lobby Barrel. Or Monkey Port and Sax for Upper Isles. Or for Upper Creme. All of those are pretty awful, so hopefully it's not there. <laughs> oh. oh, boy. Did Vines get his punch? I don't think Vines... Oh, Vines did get his punch, because punch was in the, the, the back of training grounds. So it could be Vines or punch. The banana hard. Yes, God. it was. Wow, this is a very linear, stringy, <laughs> long seed that that's really awful. I think this is this these are the kind of seeds that multipath could just like absolutely save you on because you know that everything is in a linear yep. path. You know that everything you need to get will lead you to one singular item that is just like so colossal that it, it leads you to everything. And in this case, I yep. believe our winning ticket item is Mini Monkey. Mini Monkey appears to be on the path to like everything. And so what are our leads yeah. on that? I believe our best lead right now is Barrels. So you do everything Barrels, barrels as well as possibly uh, Caves Metals. So you're doing everything you can in Caves to try and get a metal out of stuff. I don't think you have Diddy's Metal. You can't get Diddy's Metal. Can you get Tinies? I'm not sure. You should be able to get Chunkies. And it, you should be able to get donkeys. Saw donkeys, I think. Um, yes. Piper has donkeys metal. Yeah. Piper has donkeys metal is nothing. So chunkies is what I want to see. Is that punch locked? We got punch and pineapple, so no problems there. I think you can get chunkies metal. You go to snides here. Punch open a gate. Dead balloon. There's a balloon and all the other ones that are behind and with barrels too. You can Girls? get the ones in the boulder. If all your other chunky moves, if like triangle is locked behind this metal, then it could be barrels on the path to this metal. Is that crazy or crazy? It's, it's very crazy. 
up the boulder with relative ease to find Mini Monkey! <laughs> oh, it is indeed barrels on the path to the cave's chunky metal. Go take your Mini Monkey and solve the rest of the seed. Good luck. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh, there's a vial and a monkey port. There's a clear vial and a monkey port igloo? Okay. Okay. I think that's clear. It's definitely a vial of some sort. Yeah, is it slam? Alright, here we go. We're getting we're getting more hints out of factory as we can we can backflip up with Diddy or Tiny now. Maybe it's yellow. I, I always have a hard time telling yellow and clear in those those uh the, the igloo is hard to see it. Yeah, the, the igloo, you know, filter is a uh, kind of a mess. More hints from Kuiper, so let's... These two hints, these upper two hints we have not seen at a factory. Care to, yeah, care, to like... care to enlighten us, Mr. Don't Care? Nope. Just keeping us in the dark. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Yeah, obviously I had to check this first. Roof door action from Tunos. Show me the money. It's another pearl. Here we go. Uh, Helm has a potion. Okay. Main Caves is dead. And I think that's it. Yeah. Yep. Wow, Helm has a potion too! Oh my god. Alright, main caves being dead kills the beetle race, kills the ice castle, the tomato, kills the blast cores, although they checked it already. And it kills the mini monkey caves there, so if you're looking for stuff with mini monkey, don't look there. Not in don't main caves. There. Yep. Kuiper's off to go get his key here. This is probably key five, but it could be key seven. I think it's probably key five. Yeah, more actually, hints though. This has to be key five, actually. It can't be key seven because something we've found we have another hint for something else on the path to key seven, so we do not have enough to logically get key seven. And Tudos is just forging ahead. He is just moving on, not worried about Aztec. I, I wonder if he's thought about the tiny cage. That is crazy. I mean, I didn't think about it. That blew my mind. Yeah. I was not expecting that. Nobody does, because it's a one percenter! No, no barrels for Tudos. Unlucky. <laughs> when you see those cage doors closed, that's just like, wait a minute. Alright, well, it's an ER. My prediction, my four minute prediction has not come true yet, because the Gasplat has nothing. What did I put What did I put on that spot? Did I put, like, a rocket there? Or did I put I key think seven? so. I don't know what I put there. I put something there. I put something. I, I thought it was rocket, but yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> Well, I think coconut. I think we're gonna find coconut in the caverns. So if Tudos does like the arena, he might find it, or maybe it's on like a splat up top. Vines lock, yeah. Or well, punch lock arena, punch lock chests. Right. I think all these are punch things. I think key seven is most likely in the the treasure room. I think right right now I put that as most likely in the treasure room. It could be guitar in the treasure room as well, in the treasure chest rather. That's a possibility. Interesting. And that was key five, so. Indeed, key five. Kind of acquired. Five. Yeah, I think so too. That's crazy. Well, we welcome Multipath in with a bang. This is a Gigapath seed. It is. They're they're very scary to on the outside, but like at the end of the day, it's just a linear path. You follow the linear path, you find your goods. Uh, the real the real thing that's tripping up Tudos right now is not the Gigapath, it's the Aztec uh, Chunky. This is coconut. Wow. All right, my four minute prediction plus plus. Let's go me. <laughs> Shout out to me. God, that's beautiful. <laughs> You're too smart for this. <laughs> that's, so that means Key Seven is. Pro oh no, it's probably not Key Seven. It's probably guitar in the treasure chest. Because this coconut is on the path to key 7, key 8, and DDK rule. Which is, you know, yep. more than one thing. So it's not going to be key 7 in the treasure chest. It's going to be something else in there, I think. If if we don't find anything else with coconut, which is hardly given because coconut is a pretty good move, as it turns out. Uh, like, we know the Tiny's Cage in Japes, that's yeah, Featherlock. We had or the, that's Coconut Lock. The Japes. So. Yep, yeah, we had the Jabe's Cage, so, so yeah, we know we need Coconut for that. So we actually could find Key 7 in the Treasure Chest, and then find, like, Rocket Barrel or something in the... in Jabe's. However, we have pushed Jabe's now into the back of the scene, which means we also do need to find a Slam somewhere. At least yep. one. A little spooky. Yeah. Well, we need one for Chunky K. Roll anyway, but... 
we definitely need it now for multiple things. Yes, this is looking a little, a little spicy. Hyper continuing to clear out factory, I think this makes a lot of sense. Just keep things uh, nice and clean. I don't, I don't know if we... I don't think we saw anything else. Oh, he wants to see Diddy production. Kind of makes sense. We haven't seen... Let's bring in... Oh, yeah. You know, for all our talk of Lanky, do we know we need Lanky yet? A modest proposal. We, we do, because we need to get into the treasure room. Ooh. So we need Ongar to jump through the star. Ah, we do have to go get that son of a gun. <laughs> we do have to get him. <laughs> Gotta, we gotta, ask, them, so. we gotta ask the question. It is a question that needed to be asked. Yeah. Well, or you guys could just patch it so that, you know, anybody could be on guard and then we don't need Lanky. Oh, there you go. Live patching? <laughs> There's, that's my cook. Live patching. There well, you we go. Just, we just push that through point. Oh, let's, not, let's not press our lock. <laughs> True. So we do need Lanky, and Lanky is found by Tiny and Isles. We've seen the feather cage. It's not there. We have not seen the charge check in Aztec Lobby. The, we haven't seen BFI. Somebody should check BFI. Please check BFI. Kyber. We haven't seen the Galleon Lobby. We haven't seen the Galleon Lobby swim, which is in Logic, actually. So yeah. there. Oh, wow. That's actually a really good shot. Uh, no, it's Galleon is uh, level 5, so it's Blue Slam locked. Oh, we can't see it. Oh, no. <laughs> we can't get it yet. Oh, no. <laughs> And we need coke. We need a uh, sax and monkey port for the upper aisle or the upper creme aisles sax pad. So that is not likely. That is a little bit far out of our reach at the moment. So that's not ideal. Yeah. So we <laughs> need still a bit locked. So these on BFI. Well, then we need fairies. But I wonder why Kuiper's checking this boss here. Is he like afraid of something? He's got to be feeling, like, pretty alright about, you know, having the Gigapath completed, right? Maybe you take your Mini Monkey to, like, at best, like, R&D or something. That's, like, a, a mini check. Or even take it to, like, um... Uh, uh, the Dart Wheel. Maybe. Uh, maybe that, yeah. Maybe a little Mad Jack action here. I'm just a GB. Ooh, that would be nice. Let's see. Nope. Or it could be, but we're not going to check it because it's just a banana. I guess he's ending his route here in Factory, so it's not too bad to stop. But he's walking out of Factory with Key 5, so we're going to get some more hints here. And we're going to get, hopefully, enough information to solve this scene. There are still more multipath hints out there. There are still five more, so there's a lot of information to be had. Oh, yeah. I did not see what was on the blanky check, it was but just a GB up there. I doubt it's anything. Yeah, it was just a GB up there. Nothing, nothing kind of is pointing as it is there yet. Not quite yet. That is a level seven castle. It is 33 GBs. That is relatively cheap, actually. That is. Kind of love to see that. You can get a monkey for him pretty soon. We're scared of that. Oh, yeah. 26 already, wow. Yeah, I mean, yeah. two doses is even higher. Two doses is at 29. Yep. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Remember's after that dirt up there. The twirl? Not yep, too bad. he wants Not that dirt. Dirt. Not too bad, I say, as he leaps into the acid. Oh, he avoids it. He's insane. Oh. He fell, but he caught himself. At least he didn't die. His punishment is getting neater and neater by the locker. <laughs> Time. There you go. Oh. Huh? Look at peanuts! Whoa! <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Maybe balloon is on the path. Balloon is on the path somewhere. What? <laughs> Whoa! That is peanuts out of nowhere. Um. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's just part. Like you, we know that barrels is on the path to Diddy K rule, so that is one way to solve it. But we know Mini is also on the path to Diddy K rule. So I think, yeah. So yeah, Rocket Barrel's locked by Mini. I mean, we've been talking about Guitar being locked by Mini for a while. For guitar being locked by Rocket Barrel for a while. 
No. Oh, yeah. Rock, rocket barrel being locked by guitar all the way around. Yeah. That's a possibility. Yeah. It is. Uh, we got Balloon. Oh. Dudos finally pulls out something that works in his favor. He found Trombone with his Coconut Shooter. If there's a lanky oh. Helm Room, that's a great pull. That's a really good pull. That's really good. Because that solves a question for why is Coconut on the path to Key 8? It could be for Trombone. Or we need Trombone for something else. That's pretty nice. We are not seeing caves lobby. Kuiper is giving us castle lobby and not even reading the hints. He's, <laughs> Kuiper reads he's, hints. <laughs> he's crazy. This is this is a, a madman play. He didn't even. Yeah, he didn't even go into Jabe's, did he? Judas has arrived at Tiny Temple and he is going to be shook when he sees this Kong. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely shook. I was shook when I saw the cage was closed. <laughs> Oh, I know. Oh, He's man. Gonna be, I wish we had face cam on him. That is a... <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, what? <laughs> oh. He didn't even pause, though. <laughs> yeah, I had no time to lose. It does not, nope. does not feel great at that point. That's that's a little, a little bit out of the way. So we know our Japes is level 6. That means we only need one slam, which is both a blessing and a curse. It is both a blessing that you only need one of them. It is a curse that neither of them will be hinted. <laughs> or, it's possible that neither of them are hinted. Eighteen to get into Japes, no problem. Interesting. Oh, so low. I think he's going in there. The way he's riding these, these doors, I think he's going in. Yeah, oh, I man. think so. I beg you, pause your game. I need to see. Please I let us read the hints. I paper. need to know. Here we go, here we go. Right, here we go. Japes. Hillside. Chunky Carol. Deep shops. Foolish. All right. Uh, that arena, which was uh, Blast. Uh, Caves on Lobbies, that's Peanuts. There's your Peanuts! And then Giant Mushroom Inside Foolish. Check Legends is dead. Alright, whew. Alright, we sprinted through it. Alright, next lobby. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I'm, I'm blitzing here. Hyper's still writing, I think. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. One of those. That was Bongo's you not went blast. Real fast. All right, uh, <laughs> you did. The Galleon hints we've already seen from Tudos aside, so we're good there. Yep. But Tudos is Tudos's problem is he now needs to go back to caves and figure out his uh caves lobby pro or his uh, his caves medals problem. Yeah. Well, that is that is coming. He will find that in a sec, probably. Doing some uh, quick aisles checks for Lanky. Hopefully it's here. It's not. All right, four not. Oh, No, <laughs> we are looking for castle hints. All right, donkey tiny ditty. So, no trombone requirement, unfortunate. All right, hive is one oh. pot. Mm. That is the hinted potion as well, probably. All right, lowlands. Oh, there's your Aztec metal rewards as well. Lowlands, all right, and then meds, it's key eight. Chucky key rule, that is Gorilla Gone, and then Aztec lanky five door temple, so. We know which five door temple we probably need to go to. We got a Gorilla Gone hint, no surprises there. We're probably gonna go find a rocket barrel hint. We're probably about to find rocket barrel in the lowlands. Um, we got our peanut hinted in castle in castle lobby, and then I guess hunky chunky's in the hillside, and that sort of wraps things up pretty nicely. Oh, but the hillside is probably yeah. a tiny check, and that would be slam lock, so that is not ideal. Ooh. However, the good news is you probably don't need hunky chunky for helm, or no, you don't need hunky chunky for helm confirmed. So as long as you can get everything else clear helm, you can get a slam hint in chunky k rule, and that'll do a two for one. It'll give you both your slam information and we'll get you Hunky Chunky when you get the slam. So that's the best case scenario. And we're gonna live in that best case scenario because we live in those worlds. Right team? <laughs> right team? We, we always live in the right. best possible of all seeds. Always. Of right. course. Of course? Great. Yeah, Helm 1 Potion is a... Uh, that's a bit of an oof, but uh... Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't look like that potion is going to be necessary. At least it seems it seems unlikely by my reckoning. I would be pretty yeah. surprised. Okay, there was a vial in, in the donkey cage. What was that? Was that Rocket Barrel? If that's Rocket Barrel, that's a total disaster. It's blue. It was blue, so oh it was not Rocket Barrel for sure. I mean, that still could be a... That could be grape. That could be a grape that locks your Rocket Barrel. That would be a total disaster. 
And we know we need a uh, lanky five-door temple, so yeah, we know I, we need Brave. I think Kuiper is praying to the high heavens that this Blast Course or the, the Boulder has Rocket Barrel. Exactly Rocket Barrel, because if it doesn't, that means you can't beat Helm, which means you can't get your Chunky Hero hint for a slam, which means we have oh, immediately yeah. <laughs> deviated from our best possible world. So let's not, right? We're just going to find Rocket Barrel right. right here. No? How about... Right here... The boulder. How about the boulder? Pretty please? Okay, let's see. Oh. We're gonna check it. That is unfortunate. Oh. oh no! We knew it's not in the peanut cage, and we already kind of knew it couldn't be in the peanut cage. Because right. the peanut is only on the path to DDK rule and not key 8. You can do a little bit of negative information work with these multi path hints, right? The peanut right. is on the path to DDK rule. But not on the path to anything else. You do not need Peanut for Key 8 at all. You don't need Peanut for Key 8. You don't need Peanut for Key 7. You don't need Peanut for any, any like, Chunky K-Rule. Any so of the other K-Rules, yeah, other your, entities. Your Peanut is almost entirely dead at this point. Basically. Because yep. you know Rocket Barrel is on the path to Key 8, so... Your Peanut is not going to get you anything. All your Peanut checks are garbage. Yep. Best you could get is, like, a fast GB out of the lowlands. Tudos is thinking, he's like, oh, oh boy, he just blew up. He's got to go back to caves to find his his mini monkey. He needs to take a look at his caves metal rewards hint. Yeah, head down that way. That's where he's got to He's got to go. Come on, Tudos. <laughs> All right, hillside for Chunky K rule. Oh, oh, maybe it's just here. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, yep. Wait a minute. What was in the tiny cage then? This is, he's seen it yet, right? This is Onky Chunky, right? Oh, my tiny cage. Oh, right? <laughs> uh, I did not see what color that vial was in Tiny's cage. Anyone, uh, any Either. instant, any instant replayers? That's our Honky Chunky. That's also, uh, that's pretty, that's pretty fine. Oh, what is that up there? Did you see what I saw? I saw a vial on the bean! And there I think that's clear! Is that a slam? <gasps> slam on the bean? Is that a slam on the beanstalk? Where's the bean? Are we in a are we in a casino for a clear vial? Or a bean? There's no way. Bean? <laughs> There's no way. We could be. That would be crazy. That would go insane. <laughs> Right, I'm getting an instant replay on the, uh, the tiny, the feather cage, the tiny cage. Right, it's a blue vial in DK's cage. And yep, blue for sure in DK's. I just didn't see the tiny I, one either. I don't think he looked at it. You know, honestly, I don't remember him looking, but I could have been so fast. But okay, he. I, don't I mean, know. I'm. I got a pretty good. I got a pretty good replay. And I don't think he saw it, so I think yeah. we are not going okay. until either he checks it again or Tudus checks it. That's interesting. There's not many things it can be. Um, well, no, at this point, because the hillside hint is satisfied, that could be, like, anything. That could be anything as crazy as, like, Key 7. Or, yeah. Yeah. It could be a mess. <laughs> to put it, to put it succinctly. <laughs> yeah. I thought we were in the best case scenario world here. Yeah, well, <laughs> I think we've deviated. <laughs> maybe it's maybe it's not needed. Maybe it's a not needed O stand. I don't know. Let's just 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 believe, right? Just just believe. Right. right? Wow. We're in a real mess of a seat here. Oh boy. We got a we got a, a mess of a seat. Tudos is in the tank. He's like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> I know. He pulled a, a very thinking, heavily he's hinted jumping. barrels. He's been jumping. Yeah. That's even more than think dance. He's pulled a very heavily hinted barrels, and he has to piece together somehow. This is a very hard thing to piece together. That barrels is on the path to the cave's chunky metal, which is That's psychotic. To be to be clear. Yeah. Well. He's going to caves. He's going to caves. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, away. what medals can I do? He can't get Diddy's. He know, and he knows he can't get Diddy's because Diddy's needs stuff. He has DK's probably. If he, he does have DK's, so it's just like chunkies? Question mark? Maybe. Depends how close he is. Not sure. I'm not sure if he went to Snies to grab the barrel there. 
Okay, here we go. We're gonna look at this. It is a purple vial. Oh, monkey port. Of course, we need monkey port. Monkey port, then. Oh, okay. oh, I just monkey forgot about it. Okay, there we go. Price is so That's probably monkey port. I didn't. Yeah, that's gotta be. We also need sacks for helm. I forgot about that. Hang on. Oh. Wait, it's tiny. It is tiny, yep. Yeah, we need sacks, and we need... Monkey tiny. Need sax oh, and oh, guitar. Okay. There's our guitar. Way of the Horde hinted guitar. Excellent. Love that. That is our only vial in the hive area, so the rest of the hive is foolish. No surprises there. Get out of here. We do need sex for the beanstalk, that's right. Oh, you know what? That donkey cage? That's great, because Lanky's fiber temple is hinted. So we... Yeah. You probably need that blue vial. <laughs> I, say, I think it's great there. And <laughs> the monkey port being in a slam lock cage means we need to find we need to find a slam before we're not getting any slam help. We have to randomly find a slam. It does not appear that slams are in a hintable state at the moment because you could find either of them. So you don't know which one or so neither is technically strictly required. So neither is hintable. Oh, like, we're seeing fairies. Gotta randomly we're find seeing a slam. the fairy check. Let's go. All right, is Lanky on BFI? Not today. And there is Tudos's mini monkey, so he is hey. back on the case. Oh, rip the fairies. We'll BFI, Dad. unfortunate. This does raise more questions than it answers, to be fair. <laughs> Tudos goes to check it right away. <laughs> we, know, we know that there's a purple vial in Japes, so that kills the Upper Isle sax pad for Lanky. Because you have to get all your Kongs by level 5, which means we need to find uh, a Slam before level 5, or find Charge and check the Aztec Lobby. Aztec Lobby for Charge, Galleon Lobby for a Slam. <sighs> yeah, those are, that's a yep. tall order. And now Tudos is like, what What do I do with me, Monkey? Oh no. <laughs> oh there's, no. There's so much. Remember Let's... that key, Tudos! Remember your key! Yeah, go, go scoop up that key and just pray to the high heavens, it's all good. <laughs> Alright, here comes Kuiper. He's about to witness this potion and be absolutely shook. <laughs> yep. I was shook. I'm, I've been shaken, not stirred by this seed. Yes. It has cooked us this That time. is definitely clear, okay. right? Like, That's team. clear, yeah. Alright, Kuiper does a slow turn to face the camera. <laughs> hey, he's, he's shook. Seagull thinks it's yellow! Alright, maybe it's yellow. Is it yellow? I hope that's clear. All right, every sing every other person besides me says it's yellow, so I'm just going to believe you all. But that's grab, so you probably don't need that. So if the bean turns up to be required, that will be quite possibly the funniest thing ever. Wait, but there's a blue potion on the mills. Isn't it blue there? It is. On the grab check in the mills? That, mu that has to be Ostan then. I think that pretty... Gosh. Are you sure? I it could know. be grape. I mean, I think it's unlikely given how much stuff we have hinted and how much stuff is left. Like, right. I feel like we're running out of real estate for things to be. Like, we gotta like we gotta be wrapping the seat up, right? We don't need that much more stuff. Looking at Kuiper's, right. looking at Ky what Kuiper has, he needs sacks, monkey port, rocket barrel, key seven, four things, and we have and a slam, and a slam, right? Well, yeah. So there's that, and then we have. Two unresolved way of the hordes. And we have a very strong lead on Monkey Port. No, we have three unresolved way of the hordes. One of one of which is probably Monkey Port, one of which is probably Key 7, and one of which is probably Maybe that's Rocket Barrel. Yeah, I think the Five Door Temple is gonna have Rocket Barrel. So that would be three things, and then Key 7 would be Treasure Chest, maybe? Treasure Chest, maybe? Or yeah. Well then that leaves what does that leave unhinted? That leaves Sax unhinted? Mm -hmm. Or monkey port unhinted, one of the two, because one of the it, the purple vial is one of those two things. So we're pretty close. Yeah, that was that Hyper was Aztec pretty tiny <laughs> in the tiny in the tiny uh, featherlock hint was tiny free tiny that or is, whatever. That is hilarious. Wow. Tiny locked by the tiny hint. Wow. That is absolutely. Or tiny brutal. locked the tiny hint. Oh no, that's the <laughs> that's the free tiny item. That wasn't free tiny. That was just free tiny. 
That's barrels. Oh, that was the item. Okay, yeah, yeah. that was barrels. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I believe I believe it says Tiny Kong's Cage is the, the name mm. of the mm -hmm. actual Kong location. The free tiny item is the GB you would get from that. From is the GB tiny. in there? Yeah. So that would be your yes. barrels. Now, mind you, we know we need both of those items anyway, which is ridiculous. And the fact that I don't know for certain tells you how... Let me be clear how disgustingly rare it is. <laughs> right? When the rock is confused, you guys, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're in trouble. Right, you need Tiny to see the hint, but the information is still valuable, right? If you didn't yeah. piece it together it's from the Tiny hint. Temple hint and got barrels then, you would get the hint and be like, oh, I need barrels. Let me go check barrels yeah. things. And that would lead you, you know, down the line to go get your, your other goodies. That hint probably doesn't realize that Tiny is also in that cage, right? Because it's just I mean, seen that yeah, item. No. It's it's only worried about the the GB item with his barrels. So. It doesn't know that Tiny's also there, so. Right. So Kuiper's clearing out the caverns here. This is a hinted region, so he's gonna find his coconut at the end of it. He's gotta check all sorts of stuff because he's got he's do the whole cannon game. Fun times. There's a lot more stuff. Yeah. Barrels check. If I'm not mistaken, I believe we are missing one path hint, and that is going to be the rocket barrel locked hint. The rocket barrel locked one. It might be a foolish hint, I might have missed one. Kuiper, Kuiper's hint reading has been very strange, so... <laughs> yeah. It didn't, it did not help me at all, so... My, my hints might be incomplete, Try to but... look at it on two doses, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I count 13 path hints, and there are yeah, 14 available. Well. I only got five foolishes, and I want to say there's. I believe there is only five foolishes. Only five, I'm not even six. All right, well, never mind then. It's definitely a path hint. This rock barrel locked. Unfortunate, but I'm pretty sure they have enough information to beat the seed. Except for the bit where they don't know where a slam is. They're gonna have to find a slam out of nowhere. So. Right. Tudos is not out of this yet. He's, he's definitely behind here, but it's definitely not not over by a long shot. The slam will be the great equalizer. If the slam turns up, you can take a great advantage out of this. Because right now Kuiper is doing things that Kuiper's doing things that Tudos has already done. And Tudos is not doing stuff that Kuiper's already done. So yeah, they're retracing. But yeah, it is five foolishes according to your post. So oh good, I was right. I Shout, out past, you right. Shout out past. You were right. Shout out past me. God, past me. Shout oh, out genius. past you. There you go. <laughs> what a cool. What a cool. Look guy. at you. Your past you is so smart. I know, right? Isn't that incredible? What a cool guy. Genius. <laughs> Future me needs some help, but we'll figure that out later. <laughs> Here's our coconut on a mercifully short crown. It's a, one of the four it crown ones. So. Wow. She just gets the bad news. That might be your grape. That would be awkward. Yep. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> if that's Ostan, that's also cataclysmic, but... It is. Yeah, well, we, at least we know we're both, uh... Both of our, um last blue potions are. Okay, so we weren't entirely sure what color that monkey port vial was, but we can be pretty confident it's clear now, right? Because if the yellow vial is on the beanstalk, then that means it has to be a clear vial on that monkey port blue. Oh, yes, because there's possible? only one donkey move left. Is it possible that we find a slam there, and we're going to find monkey port out of, say... I don't know... Maybe the... <laughs> wow. Yeah, because the... If... Okay, so... Actually, it's probably just junk. Because if it were a slam, and that is Monkey Port in the Tiny Cage, that would be a slam lock slam, which would make their first slam hintable. And because we don't have a hint... Well, I'm pretty sure we don't have a hint for that first slam. You're out of luck. Right. Yeah. Right, Kuiper I mean, pressing his... Dance pushing his P8 and Diddy K roll. That's... Kuiper's pressing his advantage with, uh... With his guitar, he's gonna hit the back of Aztec, I think. Let's see what we find there. We can't actually do anything there. We need grape still. Which is, we believe, slam locked. However, you know, decent odds to find a slam in the back of Aztec. It's a big place. Good density. I can I can take this play clear out Aztec, hope you find a slam.
Chunky Chunky Fortudos. He loves to see it, even though it probably confuses him a little bit because that Lowlands hint is a little... or the, the Hillside hint is a little awkward. Yeah. Wait a minute, that is... is actually just Chunky Chunky. Great. I mean, you see a purple vial and you think Chunky K rule path and you're like, that doesn't make any sense, right? Because the things he's missing, Sax is on the path to key 8 and Monkey Port is on the path to key 8 so it basically can't right. be a purple vial. It has to be something else. All right, here comes Trombone for Kuiper. He's really hoping that's Grape and is probably a little disappointed by that one. Grape would get him away the Horde in the Lanky Fiber Temple. No such luck. Yeah, that would have been nice to pull Grape on your way to the back of Aztec, but yeah. no, not today. It also would make a ton of sense because it would explain why Coconut is blocked by a... Uh, why Coconut Locks Key 8 and Diddy K Rule. Their only lead yeah. right now on Key 7, by the way, is Coconut. That's their only lead. Because they got... Well, I guess Coconut plus Mini. That's it. Which... A treasure room then, right? It's just the treasure chest, right? So that's just gonna be... That's just gonna be either Rocket Barrel or your Key 7. Yeah. Probably just Rocket Barrel. Or probably just Key 7. Your Rocket Barrel was probably yeah. like your 5 door Temple. Most likely listening to you. Your monkey port is in the lowlands. You go get the hint for Sax, because Tiny is your second room in Helm. And you just pray to the high heavens that a slam materializes sooner rather than later. Good plan? Right. Good plan, great plan. Yeah, great plan. Yep. Let's hope it works. <laughs> Let's hope it works that way. The, uh, the Church of Donk is non-denominational, so any deity of choice you choose to pray to is acceptable when you're in a casino. <laughs> Yep. And any and all. Any and all. Multiple, <laughs> multiple may be required. <laughs> <laughs> and the bean, of course. Here's a mini check. Maybe maybe our slams are mini locked. That would kind of go crazy. Have we used... Hmm. Actually, that would be a K roll then. Let's think about cool. this. Is mini locking T8 in any way yet? What have we gotten off of Mini Monkey? We got unless it's uh, unless it's in the treasure room, no, because that if that's Rocket, then yes. But otherwise, we have not. I don't think we've gotten anything that is Mini locked for right. TA yet. It, it, it would have to be something in the treasure room to lock T8. But if that's Key Seven, that wouldn't qualify because keys are assumed on paths. Right. Keys are assumed. Yeah, so it'd have to be Rocket Barrel in there, and not the key. And then the key would have to be in the Lanky Temple. The reason why I'm thinking key seven for, for or in the treasure room specifically is because we don't have a path hint there. If we had a path hint to where key seven is, it would be a solo path, right? It would be something only on the path to key seven because, well, it's key seven. Keep, keep it simple, eh? <laughs> so that's why well, I'm suspecting. I'm suspecting one of our way of the hordes is exactly key seven. We have a way of we have a path hint for five door temple, which is key eight and Diddy K rule, which is why I think rocket barrel is in the five door temple. And our Lowlands hint is on the path that Diddy K rule on T8, which is why I think that's great. Why we need a slam. Well, one of the reasons why we need a slam. I don't know. Is Tudos about to get hit with an ult of You know, pop up these crates and be like, yep, and then be like, oh. Oh. Oh, he's getting ult tweeted right here. He's running over and. Oh! I hate to see it. Oh. That's... Yep, he just did it! Oh! I'll the tweet, too. Let's go. <laughs> that's rough. Yep. That's... Oh, I need a slam. Yep. That is... You do not have a slam. That is probably the worst revelation of all revelations in this game. The I need a slam. Oh. <laughs> Where are my slams? <laughs> Where are they? Like... When you see that green come out of you when you do the slam, it's the oh, worst. <laughs> Well, here's his guitar, so he may. Here you are, Alta. <laughs> he may chase. He may chase Kuiper to Aztec with his guitar. Yep. This is a real weird seed. Where is Lanky? <laughs> we don't know where Lanky is. We're, we, we, Lanky's in one of two locations, and we don't know <laughs> which one he's in. Yeah. And you know you're not gonna find. You're not gonna find charge in the back of Aztec if he's on Aztec lobby because we got guitar in a little six. 
right. You could find a slam back here, and that would tell you your other slam is in your first five levels. I don't think it's terribly likely. Yeah. But back to this mini monkey thread, looking through our list of stuff that we found, I don't think we found anything that's like specifically mini lock that wasn't a key. Yep. Right, I, I think so. I mean, yeah, looking back through everything, yeah. So I'm thinking that maybe both slams are mini locked, which is kind of crazy. It's a free tiny item. Yeah. Yep, oof. That's a, that's a unlucky. <laughs> so what kind of mini stuff might we be able to do here? The factory car race? Uh, the spider boss? That would go crazy. What's um, the spider boss? Oh no. Uh, right. The 2K's ones are dead. Um, can't do the anthill. The cave's ones are dead, but it could be the... If you found Monkey Port, it could be the igloo. But we think Monkey Port is somewhere else. But that could be Saxon and Jabe, so... It actually could be either. There's no way to know which one it is. You might randomly find Monkey Port. I mean, I think it's worth getting your Monkey Port in, too, just to confirm that, yes, so that see, is... Yeah, they, it's only 33, so they've got it now, right? That'd be great. Oh, Kuiper's headed to the spider boss. I love this. He's thinking Mini Monkey, and I'm thinking Mini Monkey, too. I like this play. Yep. Um... It's a good one. And if your slam locks Lanky, then checking the first five levels is pretty good, too. You can check the sub. Uh... The mermaid? That would go crazy if it's on the mermaid. <laughs> we got a purple! That's right! We can check the mermaid! Oh. That would explain a coconut need for Key 8 and Diddy K rule if... If it is indeed Key 7 in the treasure room. Oh, wait. I want to see the mermaid right now. Alright. Mm -hmm. I've, I've mm -hmm. talked myself into it. That's my cook. <laughs> That's your cook. That's a good cook. New, That's new a good cook. Hour 15 minute cook just dropped. The slow <laughs> the slow cooker, it the, it came out real tender. That was a great read. Love that four minute read. But this one is uh this one's uh going on the barbecue grill. This one's gotta get out real quick. Oh no wait, barbecues they cook a while too. Oh. Yeah. Look, alright, I have to You're admit fire, I, I, I have to confess <laughs> something, folks. I'm not actually a chef. My brother is significantly better at cooking than I am, but that's alright. Okay, you cook us up dong stuff, so... I am a theoretical <laughs> chef, not a... <laughs> not actually yeah. cooking food. <laughs> Alright, blueprint on the spider boss. Unfortunately, not there. Nope. Good check, though. Mini monkey check in Tiny Temple. Who knows, might be thinking the same thing on mini. Yep. Both good mini checks here, so... It could be in the back of Aztec. Like, you could find a slam there, because they could both be mini locked. But if they are both mini locked, then... It might be, um... It's probably better to check the first five levels. Because if it's in the back of Aztec, then the Art of the Slam is also in the first five levels. If it's lanky. I, it, there's so many ifs. I've, I've put too many ifs so out. Many if. You know what, Kuiper? Right. Just, go, just go get a slam on the, the car race. Let's just let's just Yeah. Let's just keep things simple, alright? Yeah, and as someone just pointed out as well, uh, the spiders now drop oranges. Um, oh. because of drop sanity, every enemy drops something. Fireballs also drop oranges, right? I think so. I think so. But yeah, all enemies drop stuff, so now you have a better way to collect oranges that nobody has oranges here, but uh, we do have a better way to drop oranges now, so restock your oranges. Was it a potion? No. We're out of here. <laughs> I want to see the mermaid. I... Get out of here. Where are mm -hmm. you going? Oh, he's checking the dart wheel. I like this too. Yeah, it's also a mini check. There you, yeah, that's not bad. Yup. Yep. Anything mini. The Gigapath. Trust in the Gigapath. <laughs> yep. That's, this is the real tricky part of the Gigapath, is you have to actually have an answer to everything. We've answered Tiny K Rule. We've answered Key 5. We haven't answered the rat. or... No, we've answered Chunky K Rule now. But we got... Did we answer Chunky K Rule? Just like, <laughs> oh my god. god! Because Minnie's on the path to Chunky Kid Rule, I think it has to on both slams, and that's why yeah, it's on the path to right? Chunky Kid Rule. Is it? Is it that? I think I think that that definitely confirms in my mind that Minnie Monkey is getting you a slam for sure. So we actually we kind of slam in the treasure room too. We kind of have hinted slams. No, I think just random Minnie Monkey checks somewhere in the game. Something that you get from Minnie Monkey will lead you to both slams, like that. Bang. Oh, is this slam? 
Dart wheel. Yep. Spits out a slam. We're flying. There we go. Kuiper pulls a slam. Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? All right. Kuiper wants to check Galleon Lobby first. The fact that you found a slam in the first yeah. three levels, this makes a lot of sense. Yep. Is this where Link is? That is a that is an excellent pull from from Mini Monkey. Checking every Mini Monkey check of the game. You got you got some crazy important item in Mini, Mo in Mini Monkey. You know, look at everything. Yep. Everything. I must know all. Huge play here. This is a Kyber's gonna be feeling really good. This one. This is a nice find. And sure enough, whoa! Oh, bombshell! Monkey port. <laughs> monkey porting Aztec metals. Whoa! What? We got Gaunt and Port on the Aztec Metals? Whoa! What? Crazy <laughs> pull there. And this, this, wow. is why, this is why I wanted that Monkey Port hint, because, like, it might not be where so you think it is, and you <laughs> confirming that is real good. <laughs> oh. Wow. Huge. <laughs> Yeah, especially at only 33 GBs. You should have. I mean, they should. I mean, at least two just pulled it, but wow, who's gonna think to go back when you pull gone there? No, but you know what Tudos is gonna do? I don't think. I don't think Tudos is gonna do anything crazy. I think what he's gonna do is he's gonna take his monkey port and he's gonna head to caves and check the clear vial in the igloo. That could be the other slam very easily. That could be the other slam. <laughs> yep. So he might save some time there by finding that monkey port, and then he won't have to worry about it. He's essentially in go mode from there. Let's look at GB counts. Kuiper has 44. Tudos is 49? 49, yep. And that right there is his 60th. He has 11 blueprints. He has 11 blueprints in, he has 11 blueprints like in the tank. 11. He could take yep. his monkey port and possibly solve the seed just in one straight shot. All right. Yep. Is this key seven in the clam in in, the, in our clam here? Ooh, but Kyber's calling the treasure room for more GBs. This is gonna work out really well for him. How many blueprints is he yeah, holding? Is. He's holding twelve, and he's now at forty-five yeah, GBs, so he's three GBs away. Ooh, this is gonna be a tricky one. This is okay. Far left, far left. There is indeed key seven. Ooh, came out perfect. Yep. Cook, cook. There it is. There's the key. Okay. Yeah, we do need to add all the tweet as a joke hand. <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> what? You gotta keep that up. <laughs> Is somebody go dig it up. Yeah, someone got posted so we can have it here. We'll do some cooking on this one. Oh, this is brilliant. I love what Judas is doing right now. He's got his monkey port and he's like, I seen a clear file. I need a slam. I'm running That's right towards it. File. Show me the money. So we saw we saw two alter tweets in this one, the slam one and the unhinged metals. Yeah, that's a that's definitely a surprise for that. Yeah. What is, what is Tudos thinking? Chicken the metal? Yeah. Hmm. Another great feature of 3.0 is you can go check where you found all your moves. Just to double check. You in forgot? Case you, in case you forgot something. You might be like, wait, what did I get on Caves Metals? And it's like, oh, oh Mini Monkey, of course, that's a good item. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've only used that for everything in the game. <laughs> everything is mini log today. Yeah. Yeah. All right, but Kuiper's charging away. He's he's on a warpath. He knows where to go to finish his seed. The only thing that's a mystery in his mind is ooh, let me click the slam buttons. There we go. The only thing that's a mystery in his mind is where. Well, he's gonna get sacks here, so he needs to know where Monkey Port is. But he can go get the Monkey Port hit right now. Run straight and, towards it, yeah. and he's off the races. So he's in the great shape. Yep. Well, he's gonna do this. He's gonna get his... Are we gonna boulder tech to get this last hint? There's Sax. <laughs> and then you go get monkey. You go get grape here. Yep. <sighs> okay. Again, I cannot emphasize how much of a disaster it would be if that was not grape. Um, oh, that's lucky. That's not that would have been that would have so. been real bad. <laughs> Because oh. then you would have had to find grab and the bean. <laughs> Tudos, Tudos wants a little more information. Break out the boulder tech to climb up to here. What's our last path hint? Treasure into key seven. Sure enough, we know that's the key. <laughs> no, it's okay, thanks. <laughs> yeah, no surprises there. Nope. We need the slam to get lanky though. <laughs> All right. And we've got our... Oh, he's headed straight to Aztec to go... 
go to his lanky fiber yeah. temple, but is he gonna get the tiny metal while he's here? No, he's rolling right through those tiny bananas. That is a... Uh, nope. Well, that's a... It's gonna be a funny one in a minute where he has to run right back here. So this should be his rocket barrel in here. Yep, it should be rocket barrel in here. And then he's gonna... Well, it would be very funny if he dumps because then he's gonna have a moment when he hits the monkey poor pad like, Oh, I'm missing something. Oh, no. Chudos, yeah. oh, Chudos leaves caves before checking the monkey party glue. Uh, oh no, Chudos! <laughs> uh, not good. All right. Bonus barrel. What do we got here? Four rocket barrel, hopefully. Hopefully, yep. Hopefully. Emphasis on hopefully. This is like something ugly. Then. <laughs> no. We got a real weird scene, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh gosh. I know what else we could do, yeah. And, folks, if I may say this, as ugly as the scene has been, <laughs> this is looking pretty quick, right? Yeah. We're, we're at a 120, uh, don't, 124. Don't, don't say the word, please. It, it's looking real quick. I'm just laying it out there. I don't know what's going to stop him now. Because he, he, he gets his rocket barrel here. He goes yeah. to get his monkey port hint, comes right back. There's rocket barrel, sure enough. Yep. We got a real jet of a seed here. I said it. Yep. No! <laughs> you said it! No! You can't be stopped. At least you waited till the end. I mean, we know where everything is. We're in no mode. Yeah, we, know, we are we in know no all. mode, so... Well, of course we know all. <laughs> mm. We get to watch two people. <laughs> all powerful. Aztec with Tiny. Turn your butt around, Buster. <laughs> you're headed, back, back, you're headed back to Aztec. He has already cleared... <laughs> he's already cleared the 5 Temple. Okay, Tudos with an absolutely insane cannon game shot. I almost missed it. That is... Magical. Wow. That is... That is... A decade of DK64 speedrunning experience right there. He ten years of speedrunning. I think you just... Yep. He, he just kind of flexed on us. At least I feel flexed on. I don't know if y'all feel flexed I on. I feel flexed on too. That was a, that was a nice shot. Kuiper does have to dodge the charge bullet right here. It, yeah. In his mind, it's possible that it's on the Beetle Race, which would be the worst of all possible worlds. <laughs> yeah. Utterly cataclysmic how bad that would be. But it's not, so Crisis averted. Yeah. He's picking up goods. He's going to end up with... I don't know. I mean, if he clears the metals around here... It looks like he's clearing the metal first. If he goes to the tiny temple first, if he goes to the fiber temple first, he should get the like twenty something in that area. Yeah. Yeah. He's clearing the metal first for sure, so he'll he'll be in happy. Oh! But Tudos, Tudos has found a being some pirate buccaneer, some absolute rap scallion has fired the bean out of a cannon. Wow. <laughs> wow. Man. That is too good. If only Grape oh. were actually on the levers, that would have been a that would have been a legendary cannon shot. I'll put a pin. He's not getting the bean. He's got places to be. Yeah, he already left the oh, zone, so he didn't, it, he didn't even check the mermaid. That's so sad. He might, given how fast oh. that quit was, he might have like remembered that. Oh, hey, there's a clear vial over here. Bang! Monkey board for Kuiper. He's in go mode. Never He's flying. Yep. Dump your blueprints. Head to helm. One twenty-seven on the timer. He's flying. Yeah. Wow. This is a quick He's one. He's flying. <laughs> there are thirty-four people in this race. This is the largest DK sixty-four randomizer race ever. Beat out a qual. Ever. ever. One of our quals. Was it the first qual that had like thirty-one or so? It was thirty-two for. I don't remember if it was the first one or not, but it was one of the early ones. One of the quals that just happened to land in the perfect time of day, and everyone piled in. Yeah. This is a, this is a spicy seed, that's for sure. Yes, okay, Tudos is going to the Monkey Party Glue. Yes, good. I want to see the slam. I think this is very likely a slam. It is a little bit awkward because you would then also know your other slam is in the first five levels because this is guitar locked, right? Because guitar got your Monkey Port. You had to get to the back of Aztec for Tiny's Metal, I'm pretty sure. So if this is a slam, please. Oh. Please let this be a slam. Is oh. it bait? Oh, I'm in agony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, two nose. <laughs> what a heartbreaker. I burnt it. It got burnt. Disaster. You cooked it too long. <laughs> you cooked that one too long. Disaster. Oh. You know what? I bet if he checked it when he was in caves like 10 minutes ago, it would have been a slam. But because he left, what? it burnt. <laughs> it's so sad. It cooked too long and it turned into an ammo belt. <laughs> <laughs> it cooked so long it turned into an ammo belt. Oh, you hate to see it. Yeah. He's on the right track with the mini monkey though, so if he if he pulls out a if he if he continues to follow mini monkey checks, then he'll be a he'll be a happy camper. Yeah. <laughs> yep. He's gonna just keep checking the mini. I think he knows I think Tudos knows that Mini is the Gigapath, right? So or one of the main items on there. Right. Tricky business. Multipath pulls no punches. Give you a Gigapath hint. And, uh, it all worked out. <laughs> Kyber's in Helm, sub-90. sub, sub 90. That makes for a nope. fast seed. <laughs> yeah. Now you can- now that he's in Helm, now you can say- you can say Jet now, so. Jet. It's okay. Absolutely Jet. <laughs> Not before they get to Helm, but then Helm, it's- it's okay, but. Yeah. Oh, and he's got excellent cosmetics. He's got the oh, seal. He <laughs> got the seal. The peril path panic. Yes, another wonderful addition to 3.0 is extra model swaps in these. Very enjoyable. So We're everyone, no. immediately go put all your cosmetics on. We're in a large. We're in a large. You're in a large lobby, and Kuiper is a uh, Kuiper is a racing for the finish. We'll see where he ends up in the podium. If he ends up in the podium, people might be uh, yep. people might be finishing this because this is a this is a quick seed. And Kuiper certainly did not play this perfectly. There's definitely bits and pieces of improvement, but I feel like he plays pretty well. Yeah, I mean, I know. Well, okay. sub uh, sub 130 entering Helm. That's that's very good time. Yeah, that would be uh, wild. That's. That's very good. I mean, you can, you can never be unhappy with a time like that. That is that is crazy. Yeah. Or, well, I mean, hey, this is this is the first race on the first weekly race. On 3.0. Yeah. Is this the new norm? Have the hints improved so much that you can actually <laughs> accelerate your pace even faster? Is the seed actually just a generous one? Right. I don't know. But tune in next week and find out. Whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> Will we see the legendary sub 80? I believe in the multipath, right? We can do it. Yeah. The Connor sub was close. Sub 80. That's, that would be very fast. Oh boy. Madness. I wonder what that potion in Helm is. I don't know. I hope we see. <laughs> I hope someone we can see it. Maybe it's like on a. Maybe, no, it's not on fairies because fairies aren't shuffled. Right. I was say, could it be on uh, one of the other? We don't have triangle to even. If it wasn't chunkies, we wouldn't be able to see what it was. It is two rooms down. One and a half. Oh, there's the potion. What is one and that? Yep. Oh, it's there. I think it's clear. Then again, I've been wrong like four times. Chat, what was it? You tell me. I can't figure it out. In Helm with a laser on, I can never tell what color it that, is. That's even worse than an igloo. And worse than it my is. eyes, apparently. Looks kind of red! Y'all are making stuff up. There's no way that's charge. If that's charge, that might be the funniest thing ever, but... That was that... Was that red? No, was it? There's no way <laughs> I that's red. No, I, it didn't look red. It looked... It looked clear to me, but I yeah, I can't. It's really hard to tell. Like, really hard to miss tell. This, miss this cutscene real quick. Thank you. Excellent. <laughs> Kyber missed a cutscene skip for the people. I need to know what that is. Wait. Hey, Kyber, we need to know what color this is. What color is that? Oh, yeah, it is clear. I'm not getting I'm not getting gaslit into believing that's red again. Is it a slam? <laughs> I don't think that's the other slam, because then one slam, would, so one slam would lock the other, so you would have one slam. Yeah. Multiple. I mean, crazy. maybe it is, yeah, and you just, like, happen to not have the slam location get hinted. There's only, like, a handful of duplicate hints here. Like, your Rocket Barrel got double hinted. E7 got double E7 hinted. E7 did. Uh, yeah, I'm 
It's probably just third one or something. Yeah. Uh, the Lowlands Cage got double hinted. So there's like three, maybe four hints. Barrel's got double hinted. Maybe Vine's oh, yeah, got barrels. double hinted, but I don't think so. I think that's Pineapple Punch. Yep. Oh boy. Mess of a seed. Last room in yeah. Helm, though. Kyber is continuing to fly. And mm -hmm. Tubas is continuing to dig for a slam. The slam is the salvation, and man, I... I have never wanted a slam in that location so badly. I'm so sad. Mm. Tudos might be looking at his scouring hints and saw that there's a potion in the, the, um, the forest metals, but uh, he already got the potion. It was blast, so. Right. Such luck there. But then at least you know that it's the only potion on the metal, so you don't have to worry about checking the other metals. Right, but he like went out of his way for Tiny's metal. I think he just might have forgotten. Right. A scouring hint for the Aztec metals would have been really helpful in this one. That would have gone crazy, but <laughs> so, hey, <laughs> random, yeah. random is random. You can't always get what you want. Oh, yeah, I know. It just picks those at random, but just oh, yeah. that would have been... If it randomly picked that, would have been a good one. That would have been crazy. <laughs> Helm complete for Kuiper. He is on his way to K-Rule. Off we go. Yep, we know RL3, so we know we don't aren't going to be surprised. <laughs> Which is very nice of the multipath. It is a really nice thing is that you should not if you have not a third one, then you know it's donkey. <laughs> They're almost guaranteed. So a really nice thing. No more <laughs> random pop-up of, oh hey, by the way of tiny and you didn't know. <laughs> he ain't acquired. A Kuiper runs the home. Off we go. Yep. Kuiper is entering K roll. <laughs> 135. 135! That's so fast! This is a 140. This is a 140 angle. Uh, you have tiny 30, K roll, which tiny K roll like adds yeah, two minutes. The other phases add like maybe a minute. I mean, yeah, it's, it's on pace for a 140 or for sub 140, which is like crazy fast. Maybe crazy it isn't crazy fast. fast. Maybe it's just the new norm. Are people just gonna be this fast now? We'll see. We'll have to see when we look at the lobby at the end. Is Kuiper blazing by everybody? Tudo certainly seems to be in a bit of a pickle here. Yep. That's slim. Always the toes phase. Yep. It's always the toes phase. You're, you're yep. you've got the toes phase. You've pulled up. You've pulled up the race room, and you are just praying to everybody, you're, whoever you're facing isn't finishing, because all you can do is just sit yep. there and just look at those, look at the race room, and just <sighs> stare at the race room and just no. <laughs> yep. Yep. Auto scroller toes phase. I can't believe nobody checked the mermaid. <laughs> oh, I, I want to see it. Maybe that's the other slime. I want to see it too. <laughs> I want to see it so bad. Right. Tudos is checking uh the spider boss. <laughs> I love the spider boss check. Early level, mini no, check. Mini. Makes perfect sense. Yep. This is a great check. It just happens to not be here. Sometimes right. you do sometimes you try your best, but you don't succeed. That's just the way it goes. Right. Sometimes the seed cooks you. <laughs> yeah, so sometimes you leave it in the oven a little too long and your slam turns into an ammo belt. It's just the saddest thing you've ever seen. Yeah. I would bet a lot that the clear violin helm is just an instrument upgrade. I don't. It's pro or it's like homing or sniper. It yeah, I, or so maybe oranges. Yeah, sniper, just yeah, bird melon or something. It, it would kind of go crazy if it was oranges. That would be kind of wild, but. Well, 
torches. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. And as as Kuiper arrives into, is this the last phase? No, I think there's one more phase after this. Yeah, there's DDK roll after this. As Kuiper arrives into his second K rule phase. Some whispers. Whispers coming in from the lobby. People are done. That's right. People are done. Kuiper is not racing for first. Nope. He's not racing for second. He's not even racing for the podium. <laughs> there's a whole cadre of people done. But he's still racing. He's racing nonetheless. And one of the people who finished. Etiquette, congratulations. Thank you for the raid. GG Etta, yep. Hope you enjoyed the seed. Wild times. Yep. Hope you enjoyed your first uh, 3.0 seed. First live 3.0 seed. First people. of many. And we're continuing weeklies. Yes. If you enjoyed this one, hey, guess what? We're doing it in two days again. There's another one. You gotta wa watch Donkey Kong 64 on Twitch. Watch the, the game category. Watch these runners. Watch... All these people who are rolling in. It's gonna be a blast. Yep. Another huge race. Get yourself in, into the Discord and everyone posts usually when they go live. Discord.dk64 randomizer.com. It's crazy. Yep. You can see all the latest news and all the updates and everything going on and get announcements about when we go live on Restream and when other things are going on. Dude, dude uh, displeased about not having a slam again. Classic. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And one more light fixture for Kuiper. And here he comes. Yep. One more. Walking in a hair over an hour 40. Okay, if yeah. the boxing glove cooperates. Bang! He clocks in with a time on the race time of 1.40.13. And he finishes ninth. This seed was fast. <laughs> yeah, this was fast. Nine Holy. place at 140. Holy wow. guacamole, that's quick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> our top time, our top time from Spike himself, our good friend down under, with a blistering 128.17. The only one to cut the 90. Yep. A 128. <laughs> that's crazy. We'll 28 on this. Wow, sub 90 in the first one. Wait. Time out, mermaid. Show me a slam. Oh, we got slam. Does she have a slam? Does she have a slam? Pretty please. Pretty please. Does anyone happen to know where the other slam is? It's a GB. Sucks. Anyone happen to know where the other slam is? <laughs> By I chance. think someone said it was in that. It wasn't Helm. Helm? It was there? It was the Helm. No way. <laughs> That's crazy. That means one slam did lock the other and that... You just, it just happened to not hint the slam location that was the first one. That is tragic. Oh. Yeah. He just hits us with a frowny face. That's, yeah. that's sad. I understand. This one's a... The seed can make you down bad for a for a slam. And he uh, he throws in the towel. Yep. We're not getting Kuiper on the mic today. Kuiper is uh, resting up. He's uh, getting better. So we'll, uh, we'll talk to him another day. I have no... He is... He says a lot of words for not caring about things. He says a lot of words, so give him a follow. He's a certainly an entertaining follow, so. But we may end up with uh, Tudos floating around here. I'm gonna see if we can uh, scrape him up. Wherever he is. Piper's coming right. to us, so you gotta make sure you have baby. Yep, hang on, yeah, I gotta, I gotta, gotta kill that. Hang on, whoa there, whoa there, whoa there, whoa there. Hang on, let me just transition this real quick. Things are flying everywhere. Let me, uh, I did not prep this go. at all, forgive me. Alright, please stay race. It was a very quick finish, so. Yeah. Whoa, ooh, what? Uh, I gotta uh, type in some numbers. Uh, we got a 1, uh, 40, uh, 13. And a uh, DNF for Judas. He is done. He is tapped out. He is packing it in. So, that's a rough race, that's for sure. That was, yeah. I mean, 
to summarize, right, let me, now that I've accomplished my streaming duties, huzzah. Yes. <laughs> huzzah, well there you go. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, uh, oh, thanks for, you know, Kuiper, Kuiper raided us while I was, uh, caught off guard yep. with the, uh, thanks. With the raid. Caught off guard GG, with the Kuiper. Oh God, well done. You've, you've pulled one over on me. Thank you very much. Yeah, that dartboard, <laughs> that dartboard for a slam is kind of wild. And apparently the other one's in hell, which is hilarious. And you can kind of piece it together, right? You can kind of piece it together that Minnie on the path to everything, so Minnie is going to have to lead you to something. The critical realization is that Minnie is... Minnie is obviously on the path to Tiny Key Roll. No problems there. If we think it's Key 7 in the treasure chest by the, the other hints that sort of turned up, you kind of have your Key 7 hint solved. You know where Key 5 is, so Minnie, is solved. Minnie solves Key 5, no problem. So that's three of your six paths solved. Diddy K rule, Chunky K rule, and Key 8 are unsolved by Mini. So you gotta figure out what do you do with Mini. And the answer is just check every Mini check in the game. You know, go from Spider Boss, uh, Dark Board, uh, the Mini Caves. If you found Monkey Port early, Tudos found Monkey Port early and checked the, the Monkey Port Igloo that had a clear vial. That was an ammo belt, which is just yeah. tragic that beyond was measure. not the slam you wanted. <laughs> yeah. Um, it all works out. Um,. Additionally, it's a 50-50 that Lanky is locked by a slam, so you need to check. So you want to be checking your first five levels for a slam or charge, either one, because you know you need Lanky anyway. So you prioritize your first five levels, which is why something like the Hive isn't all that interesting. Like, you could find a slam there. You could find one of the slams there, but yeah. Or, like, say, like the Trash Cannon Castle. That's another possibility, but that's a little bit, a little bit more of a reach going that far out. Yeah, I mean, Kuiper, I feel like you played it. You played it pretty well. I don't think there's anything, nothing like wildly objectionable. Not doing the dartboard was just kind of like a, I don't know who does the dartboard there randomly. When was the the return trip to Factory? That was for, oh, that was with Tiny Four Key Four. You could have done dartboard then. That's a tall order. I mean, I guess checking every mini check isn't too bad. At that point, I don't know. I I, I think that's understandable there. Yeah, you bail, bailing Factory after Key Five. Doing other mini checks at the same time would probably save you a fair bit of time there, but you know, you win some, you lose some. Sometimes that's the way she goes. Nature of the beast. Yeah, it was very fast time. I mean, <laughs> 140 was very good. Yeah. Definitely, sure. uh... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the slam is the tricky guy, right? Having to piece together that it is, in fact, Mini Monkey on the path to Chunky K rule because it locks a slam. That's it. That's that's why you needed Mini Monkey Oxus Slam, and apparently if the other Slam is in is indeed in Helm, then did you need Mini for both of those? I was gonna say yeah, Mini Lock Key Seven, right? I mean, so but um, the well, keys, no, but, but your keys are key assumed, so that's not the, it. Uh, yeah. I'm also missing. Huh. Oh no, the one Slam locks Sax, and you needed Sax to get. The slam that's in Tiny's room in Helm. That's hilarious. That's right. Okay, so, yeah. Indeed, one slam, do, yep. one slam does indeed lock the other. And the dartboard just... The hints just missed the dartboard. That's the one thing the hints missed. It hinted nearly everything else. It just it just <laughs> missed the dartboard. Was it really the dartboard? It was indeed the dartboard. That's where the slam was, yeah. Why? <laughs> Mini locked! <laughs> Yeah, it's the yeah. I, I I dubbed it the Gigapath. The hints that we're the all on the path to everything. There's five of them that are on the path to six goals, which is crazy. But they're all kind of like linear. Right? You take your pineapple punch diving, you end up with barrels. Apparently, barrels is on the path to that chunky K rule or that the the chunky caves metal, which is its own breed of disgusting. But we'll get and that happened to be mini. So you end up following mini to everything. Mini solves your key five directly. If you guess that key seven was in the treasure room, you can think of that as solved. It solves your tiny key roll. And so then it's just a matter of what do you do mini for key eight, chunky key roll, diddy key roll four, and it just happened to be the slam. It's ugly. It ain't pretty. It was ugly. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even th I didn't even think about the chunky key roll connection on mini for a long time. I, I realized that mini was like unresolved, like, I don't know, like an hour and a half in. I had other good cooks, yeah. but I feel like <laughs> I, I feel like I kind of missed on the mini too. That's a that's an ugly one. That was. I think it would have helped if I actually wrote down where I got mini. That was like the big problem with what happened with that for me. 
Where was that even? That was on the Caves Metal, the Caves Chunky Metal. Okay, so I only put Hunky Chunky, and that's why I was, like, totally stumped. Because, like, I was going through all the Key 7... No, not the Key 7. Well, I, well, that's, it kind of led... Like, everything kind of led to the same thing. Like, all those ones where it was, like, 5, 7, 8, and then all three, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, like, I just, I just flat out was chasing everything in those, and, like, I was just coming up empty, so I was just... I was so confused. <laughs> This having six things on those paths is gives you not a lot easy. to work. It gives you a lot to work with, but it gives you a <laughs> gives you a lot to cook yourself with. A lot to a lot to go right and a lot to go wrong. A double edged sword. Yep. Knowledge is power, but power can be misused. Man, I'm really just blasting out metaphors left and right. Wow. <laughs> Dang. You're just continuing to cook. <laughs> I'm going. Don't stop He's me over. now. He's still cooking. <laughs> But uh, a GG to you, Tudos. That is a, a valiant effort on this wacky seed for everything else that it threw at you. Well, that's okay, because there's a chance I can redeem myself. Redemption, you say. You tell. Yeah. So. Let us know. On Wednesday next week, Wednesday the 7th, we are doing uh, Donkey Kong 64 on GDQ Hotfix yet again. This time... NSAC. The first Ooh. time NSAC will be played on GDQ Hotfix. Joining me on that one on comms will be Spike Vegeta and the inventor himself, Mr. Rippy, of the uh, preset. So it should be a good time. NSAC gets its time in the sun with 3.0 awesome. released. It's back. Yes. NSAC is back, baby. And Sack is back. Very, very now, exciting. To be clear, not that it ever left, but it's back. Yes. Even better now on 3.0. <laughs> Three times better. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed your uh, our little taste of 3.0 in this weekly race today. Uh, there's another, you know, same times. Uh, the weeklies have not changed their times. We have our weekly every time, uh, same time, uh, same time this week on Friday, and... Um, the uh, same time on Sunday, that is one Eastern. So, you enjoyed Dawn? Two Eastern. Two Eastern? I made that two up. Eastern. Two Eastern, thank on you. Sunday. It's one Central. Yeah, yeah. two Eastern, though. <laughs> yep. So time zones. If, if you're interested in watching more Donk, watch our runners. Uh, all the all the runners. And if you run on down to discord.dk64randomizer.com, you will see all sorts of discussion on this seed and other seeds. So many seeds. So many people donking around the oh, clock. Yeah. It's a good time. Good time had by all. There will be more. There's always more. There's always more, Donk. Everyone's donking all the time, so... There are always more seeds in the banana stand. But I think that'll do it for us. Uh, where are we? Sending you off to... Jesus. We're being in. Let's send y'all off to... our winner of this weekly, Spike. Give him off there. Give him a uh, congrats. A, uh, give him his, uh, his laurels for a massive W in the largest DK64 randomizer race. Massive dub. That's right. <laughs> Maybe we all have massive dubs one day. I believe. <laughs> we'll send y'all off that way. Thanks for watching, team. I uh, hope we can catch y'all on the next Thanks, one. Thanks, everyone. Morning. Yep, keep your eye. Make sure you're following this DK64 Speedruns channel. You get all the latest content. Morning, morning. And subscribe for the hottest emotes on Twitch.tv. True, true. That's right. <laughs> you get DK64 LOL. Good stuff. Good stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll uh, see you all in the next one. Have a good one. Morning. <laughs> <laughs>